One thing to watch out for in surfing is rips. If you imagine this is the aerial view of a shoreline here, and you've got your waves coming into the shoreline, as your waves come in, they break on buildups of sand. What we call sandbanks. And as the waves come in and break on these sandbanks, they displace water. And that water has to get back out to sea. And it will go up the beach or down the beach, looking for gaps back out through these sandbanks. This is what we call rips. This is what we call a longshore drift. So you always say to people, before you go out here, you want to familiarize yourself with your backdrop. Know what it looks like behind you so you can tell whether you're drifting up or down the beach. If you're looking at the surf here, brilliant. But have a good look at what's behind you and familiarize yourself with your backdrop. You might have some rocks down here under the water and you're not going to be wanting to drift down the beach and end up on those. So again, it's good to know where you are in your environment. Know where you are on the beach so you know whether you're drifting up or down. Remember, you're a boat without an anchor. There's a reason boats have anchors. 